Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to look at the Arsenal player ratings versus Sunderland. A very comfortable game for Arsenal as it was a very easy side as it was a league one side in Sunderland and Arsenal pretty much showed that they're the superior side. They have the more experience, they have the more capacity, they know what they are doing as a football club whereas Sunderland have a big big task to play against the team at home which is a very difficult task in itself and to try and and put some form of a performance but let's get right into the player ratings and i rate each person so in terms of the first person on the list it's in the form of burnt leno and he did concede a goal and he could have maybe done better but there is a huge difference between his quality and um aaron ramsdale's i think there's a little bit of um disorganization in that um back line when you have burnt leno in that back of the goal he makes good saves he was frustrated at one more in time but i think he gives that demoralizing effect on the players at moments in time when they don't do well whereas that um ramsdale gives that a consistent um clause of happiness for the arsenal players so he gets a six for his rating Next up, we got Cedric Suarez, and he had a good link-up play with Nicola Pepe. But we ex definitely expect to see more and more from um, Cedric Suarez and Nicola Pepe, but because it's a very simple side in Sunderland, and they should continue to impress and try to challenge for Takahiro Tomiyasu, but there is a huge, huge difference in quality. That's something that we clearly saw um, from the game, and hopefully we can see better performances from Cedric Suarez, but overall for his performance, he deserves a 7. Next up, we got Ben White, and he tried very hard to prevent Arsenal from conceding as he tried to get back and tried to um, prevent that goal from going in, but it didn't come as expected. So Arsenal needs to take that into consideration, and I think he really missed his um, favourite partner in Gabriel as he was an important player for Arsenal, um, and him missing, it was showing some signs of maybe uh, a lack in the defence, but we continued uh, to impress and we continued to show that we're capable of balancing the game and he gets a 6 for his performance. Next up we got the likes of Rob Holding and he was the captain of the game. Um, he had a decent moment where he was making headers his usual con performance on a consistent basis. That's what you saw from um, Rob Holding. But we hope to see more and more stronger performances from Rob Holding as um, a way to show that he is a leader of this club. and. Even though he done a good thing versus Leeds United, I expected to see more, but that's all he can do against a struggling side in a League One opposition in Sunderland, so he gets a six for his performance. Next up, we've got Nuno Savarez, and I was pretty impressed with Nuno Savarez once again. He shows that he's more than capable of becoming a success at this football club. He's a very strong player. He works hard for this team. He has that alpha mentality, which I've been consideringly um, expressing a lot of the time. So hopefully he can continue to deliver with strong, strong performances and show that he is a top, top player. Um, he has been linked with moves to Manchester City, which shows how important this man is to this Arsenal squad. He's only come just right now, but he has been impressive and he gets a seven for his performance. Next up, we got the likes of Mohamed El Neni, and he had to play in sort of a number six role for Arsenal. Something that we, we're not used to as Arsenal fans to see a number six um, playing, and with two number tens, maybe he had to um, do something. Maybe that is something that he has learnt from his time at um, Egypt, or so when he was playing for um, the Turkish side. Um, when he was sent out alone in Besiktas where he can learn to improve but overall he had a decent game and overall it's a average performance so a 6 for his performance. Next up we got um, the likes of uh, Martin Erdogan and he did try to do his best in trying to make things happen and trying to um, salvage something for Arsenal but overall his performance was all right, but there are things that need to be definitely improved upon. But we move on to the next game. We take this game by game. But I think Martin Ando was playing on a gear two slash a gear, um, a gear one in this match. He knew that this is not an um, opposition where he needs to put 110% in. But he still looked good on occasions. But when also were really comfortable in terms of quality ahead of... Um, Sunderland, he gets a 6 for his performance. Next up we got Smith Rowe and he tries to do whatever he could to try and influence the game, to try and make himself an important player of the game and he tried to make things happen but he had to play in a kind of a different, difficult role in that, um, in that the fact that he had to keep running back and not do the attacking output of this game so I think this will be very difficult for Arteta to implement just right now for Arsenal but we take everything game by game and he gets a 6 for his performance. 
Next up, we got the likes of um, Nicola Pepe, and he got an assist and a goal to his name, which is very good. But this is a, a League 2 opposition. We need to keep moving forward. Yes, we have to win the team that's in front of us. We had we were lucky in terms of the draw. We didn't get teams such as Brentford. We could have been an entertaining competition, but we continue to move. We continue to move forward, and hopefully we can see stronger and stronger performances from the players at Arsenal, and especially Nicola Pepe. He looks destined to leave Arsenal, can show that he has still got something to offer as well. So we're seven for his performance. Next up, we got following Balogun, and I thought he was pretty much the worst performer in terms of Arsenal players. He needs to adapt to the Premier League, and that's a big um, problem. And first of all, when you're playing a League One opposition like Sunderland, it shows that there is a long way for um, following Balogun to go. And when we talk about the next player on the um, player ratings, there is a big, big mile for um, um, following Balogun to reach. He was losing the ball. There was a lack of confidence in his ability. He was opportunities to score headers, but he didn't take those opportunities. So there's a lot of things to take into consideration and a 6 for his, five for his performance. Finally, we've got Eddie and Ketia, and he was very good today. I was really impressed with him. It's showing the question. It's raising the question, does he deserve a new contract? That's the big, big question. Uh, would he get it? We don't know. And we'll have to wait and see what happens. That's the best way to think about it, to wait and see what happens. We keep moving on to the next game. We take it game by game and let's see how he continues to perform. Three goals to his name, a hat-trick as well, which is very good. But we keep moving on. This is not a way to just take it um, and say that he's the best player in the world. It's an easier position, but an eight for his performance. So in terms of Arsenal's performance overall, a decent performance. But we have to keep going game by game. We want to see better performances on a consistent basis. But hopefully we can um, see the best of Arsenal in the game versus um, um, Norwich. It's another comfortable game for Arsenal considering the level of both teams. But they have a new manager in Dean Smith who can take that team forward. So we keep moving forward. We keep learning from games and games. And we keep trying to impress as Arsenal players, Arsenal manager. And as a football club overall, the Premier League still want the matches to go ahead. And that's going in our favour. But the health is the most, most important thing. But we continue to impress. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal performs at the end of the season. If you want to see more daily videos from Arsenal News TV, make sure you click the subscribe button. Hit the like button so I know if you enjoyed the video and share the video to your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the videos on the screen and I'll see you there.